Hello, and welcome to this lesson on phone scams. What I've done is I've contacted a scammer and allowed them the opportunity to try and scam me. I gave them access to my virtual machine and recorded the whole ordeal to show you the red flags and things that you should never do. The first red flag is the site. We know this is a scam site because the URL says PCmaticcrew.com. PCmatic's website is PCmatic.com. If there are any variation in the URL, it is a different site. If you are not sure about a website, you can do a Google search and put that website's name in the search followed by a space and then put reviews. This will let you know if the website is a scam or not. I'm the technician calling the back from PC Oh, nice. You guys are really fast. Where are you, where are you located, sir? In Yonkers, New York. Oh, Yonkers, New York. Oh, what part? I, have, I used to live out there. I just received a message from Jennifer at Yonkers. You're facing some problems with your computer. The scammer said he was from Yonkers, and when I asked him what part, he paused and then switched the subject. If he was really from Yonkers, he would have been able to tell me what part of Yonkers he was from. For checking your computer, there's no charges, but if there's an extra or any other things need to be installed or updated in your computer, then there will, there will be some charges for that. PCmatic does not charge you for assisting you with your computer. All tech support is covered under your subscription. www. Dot. Dot. Fast. F A S T. Fast. Okay, fast. Support. Support. And that's S U P P A R T. It's S U P P O R T. Gotcha. Support. And dot com? Dot com, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, an open go to container opener? Yes, click on open. Okay. Right now, click yes. Mark Smith. Is is that correct? Am I supposed to say? That's my name, yes. Oh, Mark Smith. Okay, gotcha. Never, ever do this. I just allow the scammer to access my computer by downloading and installing the software and clicking yes. He now has access to my computer. My email. Um... Uh, sending email. Um, that's about it. Okay. And it's a family computer, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'm just checking your computer here. It's showing there are lots of junk files, infections in your computer. Hmm. The scammer is showing me the temp folder and the prefetch folder as an attempt to make me think that my computer is infected. The temp folder and prefetch folder are locations on your computer that are temporary and no essential files are stored. He's not telling me the truth. So due to that, you're getting all of these junk infections from the computer. Oh, wow. And when I, so this when is... I checked your computer completely, when I'm trying to get PCmatic installed and download in your computer. I'm getting some errors, some, some warning messages for about your computer. Oh, you got warning messages? Let me show you here, okay? Okay. It seems like so the Windows the operating system which we're using in this computer, it's not 
completely up to date just get corrupted or you, know, you can see that there are lots of so, windows services and drivers of your computer which are stopped they are not working at all wow okay so it means that you are uh, you are not able to install anything or you are not able to remove anything from your computer unless until your windows is not up to date so yeah, this all are the errors and warnings which i'm getting from the computer the scammer opens the event viewer in an MS configuration window to say that my computer is out of date and needs to be updated. This is not how you see if the computer needs to be updated. Updates for Microsoft are free for Windows 8 and Windows 10. XP Vista and Windows 7 can no longer be updated due to its end of life. The event viewer will always have errors in it and it's nothing to be concerned about. The services are stopped because they are not running. And this is also nothing to be concerned about. So I got a question. So even if I did updates, it's still not up to date. If I went to Windows Update and kind of not, I got a message saying to update or something. Or no, something. no, sir. That update is just for the Windows uh, stuffs. But there are some services, there are some drivers related to your files, documents, browsers or whatever the software, or whatever the security program you have on the computer that need to be reinstalled and updated separately as per the configuration and the requirement of a computer. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So Windows updates just updates the Windows operating system, but not the individual programs. Right. Oh, okay. You have Windows 10 in your computer, there's no doubt, so it's the latest version of the Windows the operating system which you have. Okay. But there are some service and drivers related to your files, documents, emails, browsers, whatever the stuffs you have on your computer, they all get stopped, they're not up to date. That's the reason why you're getting all these errors and warning messages. Ah, I got gotcha. you. If I try to install anything or if I try to remove anything from your computer, you get this problem. Okay. This is not true. Windows Update will update services and drivers it has updates for. If there is a third party program that needs to be updated, when you open the program, it will say there is an update or it will update automatically. So, apart from the security server, we have to get the Windows reinstall and activate in your computer. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. I didn't know that. I'm so glad I called For you. this, thank you. For this, I'm going to assign a Windows certified technician for your computer who is going to take near about one hour to work on it and get it fixed. Okay. okay. He is going to reinstall and update all the required Windows services and the drivers of your computer. Oh, okay. They all are of the latest version and compatible to the Windows which you're using in this computer. Okay. okay. Here, he is trying to scam me and sell me a service that I absolutely don't need. Windows Update will take care of any outdated drivers and services for Windows. And apart from that, sir, you have to purchase a Windows license key, which is going to be installed and activated in your computer. As per your computer configuration, you will get it for five years subscription or for the lifetime in which you don't have to renew it at all. All right. So this is for the license key. Um, isn't don't I already have a license key, or this is something different? You have it, sir, but it get expired. It expired. It's not working. Yes. I'm talking about the Windows services and drivers of your computer. Oh, so that has its own separate license key. Yes, it's completely different from the security program, security software. Okay. This is not how Windows license keys work. They do not expire. Once Windows is activated, that license key is good until the device no longer works. And uh, let me tell you, sir, the mode of the payment for this amount which you're paying to the Windows technician 
it will be done by a check okay okay it's done by check okay so uh, let me know do you have a checkbook with you a check or a checkbook i do not actually um is there another method of that you guys could take um uh, or and this is and i'm paying for the licenses and the tech support and everything correct and also the PC matter. so um being that's a different company when i pay that company uh sorry uh being that it's a different company you're pc matic and then i'm gonna be um having tech support with a a r a v yes sir definitely so and they have our vendors who is going to provide you a proper but, support and uh, services for your computer so is that like pc matic's like sister company or something like that or how's that like how does that all work by this point, he has listed some bogus services and asking for a check. Never give anyone your routing or account numbers. PCmatic will not send you to another company for tech support. All tech support from PCmatic is free along with your subscription. PCmatic does not work with or is any way affiliated with AARAV tech support. But I really like everything and how the numbers are looking, but I'm just not making the connection because you said they don't provide phone support. But I'm talking to you on the phone, so I'm confused. Let me tell you. First, you uh, chatted with Jennifer. Okay. Right? And I get the information from her, your name, and the next one called you. And I'm from PC Medic. Yeah, for your Yonkers, right? Yes, right. What part of Yonkers are you from? In Yonkers, in New York. Yeah, what part of Yonkers? I'm sorry? Just give me a second. Let me give you the exact address. So you don't know where you live at in the Yonkers? The scammer does not know where he lives and he's searching for an address to give me. I hope you found this video helpful. This concludes our discussion for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.